there is, plain and simple. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Thank you. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So yesterday, we got the Cutlass all washed up. Came out here, surprised myself. This shit looks brand new. Come on, that's just disrespectful. <laughs> but yeah, this thing washed up so nice. Sheesh. Just got a couple of rust spots on the wheels. I'm gonna replace these anyway. I'm gonna throw a picture of what I've been talking about right here. You know, the 150 spoke gold Dayton's with the uh, the gold spokes, gold nipples, and then the chrome lip. And I'm gonna do the uh, white wall Vogues with the little uh, the little yellow stripe, you know? Yeah, once I get the wheels on the car, it's gonna change it dramatically. The whole image of the car is gonna change. <laughs> On the way home last night, I realized how dim these are. I can't see. It says Sylvania Hologen. Okay. But yeah, these are dim as hell on the freeway. Last night, I couldn't see anything. So I'm gonna have to get some, some new headlights. I was looking at some, I forgot what website they're on, but they have a, a LED halo that goes around here and then a, a bulb in the middle that'd be kind of cool you know a couple little square halos on each side but yeah, i already talked to my boy sr garage he's gonna uh take this thing in early may give it a nice little buff maybe uh clean up the chrome a little bit as well but yeah, this thing is super clean. There's only really a couple spots that really need work. Like right here, as you can see, the door seals kind of messed up a little bit. Obviously the top needs to be redone. This held on the freeway though, the hot glue that we did yesterday. So it's not as terrible as it was looking because when I was driving, it would lift up to about like here. So I couldn't have that. And then, yeah, interior looks good. I realize that there's zero speakers in here. Zero stock speakers, I mean. Nothing in the doors. Nothing down here in the uh, little kick panel. And there's none in the, uh, the back window. So we're gonna have to put a bunch of speakers in this thing. We just gotta figure out where to tuck them at. Probably put one here, maybe. Maybe some back there. I don't know. But I'm sure my boys at Broadway Auto Sound will figure it out because they got a lot more knowledge than I do with the sound stuff. And then I want to put a big old tablet right here like bro had in the limo. It was touch screen. You know, you can control everything. So I'm gonna put a big old tablet right here. I need cup holders because this thing does not have cup holders anywhere. A lot of people were saying I got to replace the wheel. This wheel isn't that bad, you know, but I'm gonna look for some different ones. But a couple of really cool things about this car is it has stock AC from the 80s. It's got power windows from the 80s, power seats and power mirrors, which is crazy. 84 and it's got power everything. Amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but back in the day, they used to have what's called a ball chiller. And what that is, is this vent right here points right in between, you know, you feel me? And cools you down on hot days. So this has one of those and I'm pretty excited about that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> power locks, I gotta get this put back in, but power windows, power mirrors, and then, you know, power seats. And this is really cool as well. Body by Fisher. That's how you know it's an old school. And like 
like I was saying yesterday is this thing already has two 12s in the trunk. So let me show you guys. Boom. So right now it's got two 12 inch Memphis subs and it's in a ported box, so that's pretty cool. Don't really recognize the brand of this amp, but we're gonna be changing that out anyway. You can kinda see where they were tucking wires. Oh, it looks like they do have speakers in the back windows, right behind the, the rear seats. I did not know that. Okay. But yeah, that's what's back here right now. They have a base knob back here. <laughs> okay. Did not know that there was a base knob back here. So there's definitely a lot of stuff to be tidied up. That's for sure. Oh, that's cool. Trunk light works. That's what's back here. For now, anyway. Until I take it to my boys at Broadway Auto Sound. And I've shown you guys these before. But these are the 215s that I have. And they've been sitting here for three, probably four years. Bunch of zero gauge wire, the capacitor. So I'm gonna clean all this up and try and pull these subs out of here and see if they will fit in the back of the cutlass. Because what I want to do is put these 215s in the trunk with the 212s. So I'll have 212s and 215s and just be slapping. But for now, let's try and clean these up a little bit. Get rid of these spider webs and shit. Trying not to get, oh shit, see? See, that's what I don't want. Sheesh, where's the vacuum? Where's the vacuum? <laughs> So got all the wires and stuff cleaned up. I really should have taped this stuff off before I put it up because Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's so much bugs and spider webs and shit on it. Finally got these things all cleaned up. It was crazy the amount of bugs and shit that was on it, but we got the wires cleaned up too. Now let's flip this thing around so I can show you guys the difference between the 12s and the 15s. So, two 12s, two 15s. Pretty big difference. Give you the, the hand. <laughs> I don't know, those might be 10s. Those look kind of small. Those damn there might be 10s. Cause these are 15s. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna put these in with these. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, how it's gonna fit. But my boy at Broadway Auto Sound said he could get it done. So throw these things in there, probably upgrade with all the zero gauge wire. So the thickness of this wire is like almost pretty much same thickness as my thumb type shit compared to this, which is a lot smaller. 
So a lot more power will be coming through these wires to these 15s and these. I'm gonna upgrade the amps, all that type of stuff. Clean everything up. Try and maybe make some sort of trunk space. I don't know if that's gonna be possible with these and those in there, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, that will be the plans for the trunk and the sound. Now I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do under the hood. So it has original motor, original tranny, new battery, and then this is from them hooking the subs up, new alternator, but everything else is original. Everything is original. So for now, I just plan on keeping it stock, you know, keeping it a a nice cruiser little daily driver but eventually you guys know i like i like big horsepower so eventually i'm gonna do ls3 you know turbo here turbo here do nice little twin turbo ls3 84 cutlass thing for now it's just gonna be a little mobber you know a little cruiser daily driver this thing's clean so i'm gonna keep it how it is it's original everything so i don't really want to mess with it too much you know if i do end up selling it or something but yeah that's the plans twin twin turbo ls3 eventually but for now she's staying stock and then i'm not sure what i want to do with the interior I might want to change it up a little bit. Definitely need to refresh it. My boy SR Garage is going to hit it up and make sure all these like stains and stuff hopefully get out of it. Try and freshen up all the leather, freshen up all the plastics. But yeah, eventually I'm going to redo the interior as well. That's if I do keep it, if I don't decide to sell it. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. I'm really glad you guys like the Cutlass. I got big things planned for it, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to go down below to hellocolin.com, grab your merch, subscribe to the OnlyFans to get those driving tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Doses.